Hey, what's going on, crypto people? It is the Crypto Siege with another day in the life, in the crazy life of the digital asset space. Good evening, guys. This is Wealth Wednesday. I'm excited about our first Wealth Wednesday, a generational wealth series, and this is episode one. Absolutely excited about bringing this to you guys tonight. We're going to start off with some very, very, very basic stuff, and we're going to, we're going to obviously, we're going to amp that up each week. And uh, guys, I'm excited about that because you guys know, I have always said, one of the things, one of the things that I, that I've been concerned with the most has been, you know, when this thing does its thing, when this thing does its thing, um, it's going to do its thing. And if that said eight o'clock, I hope that did not say eight. Uh, but if it does this thing, I just got a message. Someone said they thought they saw the stream started at eight. I'll be able to do this, guys. It's going to be really, really good. We're going to start again. Like I said, we're going to start with some basic stuff, and then we're going to amp it up. Without question, we're going to amp it up. So hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are look, really looking forward to this information. And hopefully, uh, the stream is going to work. I may have to kind of get rid of some things. and. Uh, Exit out of some stuff. Let's see here. I got like 400 tabs up. <laughs> so let's do this. I don't need that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, I can get rid of that. 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 No, I don't want to get get rid of that one. All right, get rid of some of this stuff here. When mother, what's going on, man? Crypto dread is in the building. Yo, yo, what's good, dude? Wealth Wednesdays. It's a, it's a generational wealth series. I'm excited about it. I was saying early in the stream, uh, guys, that we're gonna, you know, we're gonna just start with the basics, and then uh, we're gonna amp it up each. Uh, each week really really excited about having our very own robert westberg from the channel he's going to call in sometime during the stream or we're going to talk a little bit he has some, he has some really good stuff he's want, wanting to share and obviously this is something that we're going to do every week and uh, yeah i'm really really excited about it because my greatest fear is that when we do moon people are just not prepared for it you know and uh, we don't want that right justin boyd is in the building what's up man how you doing happy new year to you as well bro Appreciate you being here, man. Wealth Wednesdays, a generational wealth series. Excited about doing that. DeepMind is a little bit under the weather, so I'm not sure if he's going to be able to call in tonight. But um, uh, uh, Robert Westberg will be able to. So I had a chance to talk with him. Really sharp guy. Really, really sharp guy. You guys are going to enjoy uh, what he has to say as well. So, yeah, Wealth Wednesday, guys. Let's really get into this and really, really talk about it. I'm going to wait for a few more people to get into the stream because it, it's really about uh, – you know, it's not really so much about your exit strategy as it is about what is your wealth strategy, right? What's your wealth strategy? What are you planning on doing? I don't see TJ Jackson in the stream yet, and I'm hoping that my thing did not say it's not. Oh, DeepMind is under the weather, so he might not be able to join us. I want to make sure TJ Jackson is in here uh, before we get going, guys. But, yeah, so really exciting news coming out of Japan. Justin, if you didn't hear that yet, uh, two major things. Number one. Um, what is it called? Uh, Flash FX out of Australia. We heard the great news about what they're doing and the fact that they are using ODL. And I believe the NPP system of Australia is inter um, integrating it as well, I believe. Don't quote me on that part, but Flash FX definitely is. They will be expanding their use of ODL into Japan in quarter one of 2020. So that is really, really exciting. I mean, I am amped up about that. That is going to be really, really good because we all know the man himself, Mr. Yoshitaka Katao, is in Japan. And I'm curious, very, very curious, just like people like Crypto Eddie and I'm sure some other people in the community, is, is that going to involve with Flash FX coming into Japan and using the ODL? Is that going to somehow involve SBI? 
Mr. Katow? Is it going to involve SBI BC Trade? Is it going to involve SBI Ripple Asia? What is that going to look like? Well, we don't have to wait long to find out because it's quarter one of 2020. XRP Lava is in the building. What's going on, my friend? How are you? Excited about Wealth Wednesdays, the Generational Wealth Series? We're going to start. We're going to start very, very basic. Obviously, we're going to start very, very basic, but and uh, and amp it up as we go. But I, and I, I told Robert, you know, this is something that you know uh, I'm not going to be the all end all be all. We're going to learn uh, together. But the idea is that we are prepared for when moon. We are prepared, and also that we're in this state of wealth consciousness. Is I just think it's so important to believe that you can, that believe that you can have more and that you can do more and that you can be more. I think it's very, very important to do that. And one of the ways to do it is to be in this constant state of wealth consciousness, consciously thinking, you know, thinking about wealth, always constantly thinking about wealth, whether it be looking at new homes or looking at new cars, whether it be doing things like uh, preparing um, for the wealth that you get, whether it be looking at videos about nice cars and nice homes, always in this thing of wealth consciousness, because I, you, you attract what you think about, right? You bring about. And that's without question what we're going to be doing here. What you think about, you bring about. XRP Freedom is in the building. I'm back. 0017 here in the UK. Interested to see this stream. Well, I appreciate you being here, XRP Freedom. Yeah, so it's Wealth Wednesdays. Really, really excited about this. The Generational Wealth Series this is obviously episode one. I should have put that in the, uh, in the I should have put that in the, in the title. But yeah, so we're going to talk about these things and we're going to start very basic. And then we're going to just amp it up. I, I was hoping for TJ Jackson to get in here, but he might be a little bit busy. So I may have to get, get, get ahead and get started now. But really, really excited about it. I think it's going to be, uh, I know it's going to be very uh, enriching for all of us. Excited to have the one and only Robert Westberg. Interesting background. He's going to share uh, some very, very interesting things with, with everyone in the stream as well. So we're really looking forward to him to, to, uh, to call in. He's going to call in and kind of share some stuff. So I'm excited about that. And make sure everything's charged up, everything is working, all is, all is good. All is good. So, guys, I gave a hint early in the stream, and I gave a hint, um, what is it, uh, in the two driving videos that I did as well. I gave a hint of what we kind of kind of talk about, right? So I said, it's very, very important. In everything that we do, we begin with the end in mind. Right? We begin with the end in mind. So what does that look like? Like, what does that mean? <laughs> right? Well, for me, I thought one of the better places to start. <laughs> uh, TJ's busy earning wealth the old fashioned way. So he's working. Absolutely. Absolutely. So here's the thing. So in everything that we do, we begin with the end in mind. And for me, I thought a great place to start. Thank you, Cookie Mon. I appreciate that. She says, hey, C uh, he says, uh, he or she says, ACs, you are on fire today. Thank you. I appreciate that. Right. So for me, that starts with prepare. Like, what good does it do? What good does it do to take a hard earned cash? Right. What good does that do to take the hard earned cash, do our own due diligence in, in, in finding out and learning more about the uh, uh, the digital assets that we want to invest in? Right. All this time and resources to do that. These digital assets do their thing during this bull run and subsequent bull runs. Right. They do those things, okay? We go out and we, you know, we level up our lifestyle a bit, whether it be a new car, new home, whether it be some property, whether it be investing in real estate. We do all these things, but we don't prepare for the things that we have. And what I mean by that is estate planning. That's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about estate planning. We're going to do very, very fundamental, almost elementary uh, talks on estate planning. But that's what we're going to. That's what we're going to. Talk about because I believe it's about that's the beginning with the end in mind. In other words, once we make all these different things happen, we have all these different things. Are we prepared not only for when we're no longer around, right? But are we preparing and are we securing and are we protecting our assets? That's what I'm talking about. Deep Mind Lab Visionaire, what's up, people? Happy New Year to all. Happy New Year, brother. Glad to see you in the stream. I haven't I haven't seen Robert in here yet. I hope I don't. I hope I. Uh, I hope I hope he knows that it was 7 p.m. Eastern time. I think he does. I think he does. But in either case, that's what we're going to talk about uh, for sure. It's no secret we are an XRP community here. Others have other proxies also. Absolutely, they do, and it's important. It's just you know uh, we are not in a 
you know, I've never been, um, although XRP is without question, um, the biggest asset, you know, I understand that there's going to be other winners in this space. We have to understand there's going to be other winners in this space, right? We have to prepare for that. So let's go over a little bit of some of the things. And I found something that was, I thought it was good enough because it's kind of, it's very, um, I don't want to say elementary, but it's a very fundamental basics stuff that we can talk about when it comes to um, estate planning, right? And let's go over some of that. Let me change the view here real quick. Un unknown reader. <laughs> So guys, here it is right here. It's called um, Estate Planning, a seven-step checklist for the basics. And, 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 and I wanted to use this one because, uh, oh, my stream, stream is messing, saying it's starting at these crazy times. Why is it doing that? Maybe that's what's going on, why people aren't on. Maybe the stream time is saying different times. I got to check that and see. Did you guys, let me ask you that first. Did you guys get a different time that the stream was coming on? I see. I think YouTube glitch shows wrong stream start time. Sent your text. Some folks might be missing tonight. Oh, no. I was, I was kind of wondering why. Why did it do that? If I edit this, will that mess it up? Did you guys see a, a different start, a start time as well? Oh, man. If I edit this stream, it's not going to work. Danny said, I didn't get a notification. Yeah, and I told a lot of people the time as well. I said 7 p.m. Eastern that were on the stream. So hopefully that didn't mess some people up. That might have done that. I cannot believe that it said that in the notifications. And I don't want to mess the stream up. But let's go over it. And if I have to do another one, I'll do another one. Why is my live stream on another thing? So estate planning, a seven step checklist for the basic. Here's what estate planning is and seven things you can do to get started. All right. So what is estate planning? Estate planning is a process of designating who will receive your assets and handle your responsibilities after your death. Right. And everything you do begin with the end in mind or an incapacitation. One of the goals is to make sure your beneficiaries receive these things in the most cost effective way possible. Estate planning can help establish a platform you can fine tune as your personal and financial institutions change. The key question to ask yourself is how do you want your assets distributed if you die or are inca uh, incapacitated? So let me do this real quick. Hold on one second. Let me text Robert, make sure. Right. So um, estate planning can establish a platform you can fine tune as your personal and financial situations change. The key question to ask yourself is how do you want your assets distributed if you die or are, are incapacitated? Seven steps for basic estate planning. Number one is inventory your stuff. And I think it's very, very important to kind of understand it because I know a lot of people when they hear estate planning, they're thinking, you know, uh, that they kind of have to wait until this they have accumulated Right. They have to wait to a certain accumulation of stuff. And that's just really not the case. Right. So inventory your stuff. You may you may think you don't have enough to justify estate planning. <laughs> but once you start looking around, you might be surprised by all the tangible and intangible assets you have. The tangible assets in an estate may include homeland or other real estate vehicles, including cars, motorcycles or boats, collectibles such as coins, art, antiques or trading cards or personal and uh, other personal possessions. The intangible assets in, in the state may include checking and savings account and certificates of deposit, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. I would have never thought about the, uh, the accounts necessarily. I don't know why, but I would never would have thought about that. Life insurance policies, definitely know about that. Replant, retirement plans such as workplace 401ks or TSPs, thrift savings plans, and individual retirement accounts health savings accounts, 
ownership in a business. Once you inventory your tangible and intangibles, you need to estimate their value for some assets outside valuations like these can help. For some assets, outside valuations like these can help. Recent appraisals of your home, statements from your financial accounts. When you don't have an outside valuation, value the items based on how you expect your heirs will value them. This can help assure your possessions are distributed equitably among people you love. Okay, so let me get back into the stream. Okay, so that's just some of the basics right there, guys. And and again, for me, I learned something. I, I don't know why I just never really, I, you know, you think about the money in the accounts, but not necessarily the accounts. Crypto Dread said I didn't get a notification either. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. I know. Sometimes, a lot, a lot of times, I don't get um, some of the people that I watch as well. I just don't get their, uh, I don't get their notification, right? And so... One of the ways to kind of go about this really is you really want to find yourself one of the most important parts of your team is right is having access to an attorney, having access to an attorney. Um, right. And so that's one of the things that you want to look at. If you don't have that already, you want to start looking into it. I know one that is really. Uh, it can it can, legal zoom is a good one in terms of estate planning, if you want to go that route, kind of kind of do it yourself. Legal Zoom is good. Um, I, I know there's a service out there called Legal Shield that is overall uh, it covers all, everything, obviously, and um, they have provider law firms in different places in different states. Um, very, very affordable. That's a very good elementary. Uh, uh, what I want to say, uh, entry, a good entry into looking into having access to uh, law firms. It's called Legal Shield, and yet have one. They certainly have one. In your state, and all you got to do is look them up in your local area. Just Google legal legal shield near me or something like that, and it will come up. But it'll give you a good start. Um, I know years and years and years and years ago, I used them for my initial um, plan, right? So they kind of can start you off with a will and then kind of work it up to a state and you know, it's different things like that. But you want to start and kind of get that going, and that would be a good place. To do it. The good thing about Legal Shield is they answer some questions for you, so you're not in the dark. Um, don't ever feel rushed when you do call them, but that's a good place to start. So account for your family. Once you have a sense of what's in your state, think about how to protect the assets and your family. Let me do this as well, too. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put this in the stream for you guys so you can look this over as well. Uh, account for your family. Step two, once you have a sense of what's in your state, think about how to protect the assets and your family. Do you have enough life insurance? I was just talking about that today. This may be important if you're married and in your current lifestyle. Uh, and monthly mortgage payment requires dual incomes, right? Something to think about. Life insurance may be even more important if you have a child with special needs, uh, a child or college tuition bills. Name a guardian for your children. Something to think about, right? And a backup guardian, just in case, when you write your will, this can help sidestep costly family court fights that could drain your as uh, estate's assets. Document your wishes for your children's care. Don't presume presume that certain family members will be there, or that they share your child rearing ideas and goals. Don't assume a judge will abide by your wishes if the issues go to court. So you want to have it. You want to definitely have it in writing. Establish your directives. A complete estate plan includes important legal directives, a medical care directive, a durable financial power of attorney, a limited power of attorney, and a trust. Okay. Uh, a medical care, also known as a living will, spells out your wishes for medical care if you become unable to make those decisions yourself. You can also give a trusted person medical power of attorney for your health care, giving that person the authority to make decisions if you can. These two documents are sometimes combined into one known as an advanced health care directive. A durable financial power of attorney allows someone else to manage your financial affairs if you're medically unable to do so. 
Your designated agent, as directed in the document, can act on your behalf in legal and financial situations when you can. This includes paying your bills and taxes, as well as assessing and managing your assets. A limited power of attorney can be useful if the idea of turning everything over to someone else concerns you. This legal document just uh, does just what its name says. It imposes limits on the powers of your named representative. For example, you could grant the person the power to sign documents on your behalf at the closing of a home or sale or to sell a specific stock. A trust might be inappropriate in some cases. With a living trust, you can designate portions of your estate to go towards certain things while you're alive. If you become ill or incapacitated, your selected trustee can take over upon your death. Upon your death, the trust assets transfer to your designated beneficiaries, bypassing probate, which is the court's process, and this is so important, which is the court process that may otherwise distribute your property, and you just don't want your assets to go into probate. Be careful about who you give power of attorney. They may literally have your financial well-being and even your life in their hands. You might want to assign the medical and financial representation to different people as well as a backup for each in case your primary choice is unavailable when needed. Review your bene beneficiaries. Yep, I know I need to update mine. You will and other documents may spell out your wishes. They may not be all inclusive. Check your retirement insurance accounts. Make sure that right people get your stuff. Don't leave any beneficiary sections blank. In that case, when an accountant goes through probate, it may be distributed based on the state rules for who gets the property. Name contingent beneficiaries. These backups are critical if your primary beneficiary dies before you do, and you get to and you forgot or you forget to update the primary beneficiary's designations. All right. Oh, oh, I forgot to post it. Hold on. I don't see Robert in here yet. I hope he didn't get the wrong time. Hopefully, hopefully he will call in. All right, let me see who's on the stream. Let's see what's going on in the chat here real quick. Pokemon Sahi. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that, brother. Uh, 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 no notifications. Deep Mind Lab Visionaire says a great article. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I really thought it was really, really kind of good for the basics, kind of the beginning, right? So Deep Mind Lab Visionaire says tip: make sure to ask any estate planner if they have experience with cryptographic assets. Absolutely great point, Deep Mind. I appreciate that, my friend. That's why I wanted to hook up. That's why I wanted us to hook up, brother, because you always bring the good content to the channel. Thirty-one people in the stream, twenty-eight likes. Tap the line. Hello, I made it. Hey, tap the line. What's going on, my friend? Yeah, I'm understanding that uh, a lot of people aren't getting the notifications. Uh, there was someone who got the notification said I wasn't going to start till 8. So I appreciate you being here. It's great to see you, my friend. Yeah, so it's a really good article, really good uh, depth. We're going over, this is Wealth Wednesday's Tap the Line, a generational wealth series. And we're, started with, we're starting with the basics of estate planning because we believe, right, and everything that we do, we begin with the end in mind, right? And everything that we do, we begin with the end in mind. So you got to plan for the wealth, not only to accumulate the wealth, but how to distribute your wealth. You know, you got to prepare for that for when you're gone. So, so, so very important. I've heard, I've heard the hard stories of families just being torn apart because it just wasn't proper estate planning, right? Especially with things going to probate. You got family members, they love each other to death one day and the next day they hate each other. They hate each other. It's sad. Really sad to see. Nova, good evening, folks. What's going on, Nova? How are you? Hey, fam, what did I miss? Well, we just went over, catch that link in the article. We just went over the basis of estate planning, um, a frog in the well. Right. So we I, I gave the hint on the stream earlier that, you know, it was the, the topic was going to be, you know, and everything that we do, we begin with the end in mind. So we're going over seven steps to, uh, you know, the basics in a state planning. Right. Because we've all heard the stories, all heard the horror stories about. Uh, you know, families kind of just tearing each other apart, going at each other, becoming 
the worst enemies ever <laughs> because, you know, the, 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 whoever left the stuff didn't lead it the proper way, didn't do the proper state planning trust and trust, uh, didn't set up the beneficiaries, you know, all these different power of attorneys, limited power of attorneys, all these different things, right? So we want to cover that. And this that link in the stream. Uh, in fact, let me see if I can link it again or if it's going to not do it. Let's see. Yep, there it is. You definitely want to go check that out. You definitely want to print that out, save it on your phone or laptop without question and have that. And that's the basics. And I talked about, you know, one of the things that you want to do is you want to get access to an attorney, whether that you want to get a free counseling or something with an estate planner, or if you want to start with something that kind of give you uh, what I believe. So you can do legal zoom if you want. You're obviously you're kind of on your own. They're probably going to kind of prompt you with the different questions that you need to answer. Or you can do something like uh, get yourself a service like um, something like Legal Shield, where you get the overall, you get the full 360 in terms of service. Um, and it's it's a monthly fee that you pay. It gives you access to a law firm, okay, uh, in your area where you can ask as many questions as you want. They can not only send you directions that they want, but they also, uh, you know, they can answer all kinds of questions for you. It's a really good way to kind of start. Um, to, to see what it looks like to work with a law firm, work with a provider law firm. And trust me when I say you want to learn what that looks like. <laughs> Tap the line says, yes, we all need a plan. Eagle Eye 77 is in the building. How you doing, my friend? I don't think I've seen you on the stream before, have I? What's up, guys? I just found this channel. If I would just read the chat. Right? I just found this channel. I'm listening in for a few. I appreciate you being here, Eagle Eye 77. Don't forget to hit the like button, my friend, and hit the sub button if you're enjoying the content. We will be doing this every single Wednesday. Uh, we do streams every single day, but um, we'll be doing Wealth Wednesdays, a generational series, uh, every Wednesday. And we're going to we're gonna do them at 7. Uh, normally during the week, I do streams at 8.30 at 9, uh, 8.30 at 9 o'clock at night. Uh, but Wealth Wednesdays, I want to kind of do it kind of in between, see how that looks, especially um, uh, because of the topic. And so hopefully we can cover, get more people in there. There might have been a little bit of a hiccup with YouTube uh, and the notification because uh, DeepMind was saying that it said 8 p.m. So I, I may have to check that and make sure that's not right. But a lot of people didn't even get the notification. So we'll see. We'll see about that. But, yeah, so at Wealth Wednesdays, is that something you're interested in, my friend? Eagle Eye, every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, but we do live streams on this channel every single day. Uh, generally, everyone, uh, there's one live stream at 3.30 and I do driving videos in the morning, uh, usually in the morning, uh, you know, 9, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. I'll do a couple of videos uh, so that my people that don't like the like the longer streams can still kind of get some of that content. The trade.ti161, what's going on? Hello, how are you? Welcome to the stream, man. I appreciate you being here. I don't think I've recognized that name before. Where are you checking in from, Trey? Yeah, I appreciate you being here, you guys. So let's go over some more of that. And again, the link to this is in the description, uh, in the uh, in the chat, guys. So number five is note your state's uh, state tax law. Estate planning is often a way to minimize estate and inheritance taxes, inheritance taxes, but most people won't pay those taxes. At the federal level, only very large estates are subject to estate taxes. For 2019, that's up to 11.4 million of an estate is exempt from federal taxation. Some states have estate taxes. They may levy estate taxes on a state's value below the federal government's exemption amount. And there's a link here to see which states have an estate tax. Okay, Some states have inheritance taxes. I thought most states had inheritance taxes. This means that the people who inherit your money may need to tax, may need to pay taxes on the, what they inherit as well. Very important to know. Okay, number six is weigh the value of professional help. OMG, I can't say it enough. Weigh the value of professional help. Whether you should hire an attorney or an estate tax professional to help create your estate plan generally depends on your situation. If your estate is small and your wishes are simple, an online or packaged will writing program may be sufficient for your needs. These programs typically account for IRS, 
and state specific requirements and walk you through a walk you through writing a will using an interview process about your life, finances, and bequests. You can even update your homemade will as necessary. Absolutely, Legal Zone does that as well. So does Legal Shield. If you have doubts about the process, it might be worthwhile to consult an estate attorney and possibly a tax advisor. Very, very important there, guys. If you have doubts, if you have questions, consult an estate attorney and possibly a tax advisor. And like DeepMind says, make sure that they're familiar with cryptocurrency. Make sure they're familiar with digital assets. Very, very important. For large and complex estates, think special care concerns, business issues, or non-familial heirs. An estate attorney and or tax professional can help maneuver the sometimes complicated implications. This is probably the most important thing, guys, right? Step seven is plan to reassess. Life changes, so should your estate plan. Revisit your estate plan when your circumstances change, for better or for worse. This may include a marriage or divorce, birth of a child, loss of a loved one, getting a new job, or being terminated. Revisit your estate plan periodically, even if your circumstances don't change. Although your situation may be the same, laws may have changed. It will take some effort to revise your plan, but take heart. The need to revise means you've already avoided the biggest estate planning mistake ever, which is never drafting a plan at all. And you know what they say, right? If you fail to plan, then you have planned to fail. Right? Very, very key. Very, very crucial. Okay? So, guys, again, link in the description. Uh, if if DeepMind says that's a, a, a great article to read, I, tr trust me, guys. You guys need to go check out that article. You definitely want to go check that article, print it out, have it with you. Again, this is about wealth consciousness. This is about constantly thinking about wealth because what you think about, you bring about, right? So you want to be in wealth conscious mode all the time. Let me change this view. Okay, Robert is not answering. Did he think I had the wrong time? Uh, hopefully, hopefully he'll get on. He'll call in a little bit later. I hope that that, that thing didn't mess it up. All right, all right. Deep Mind's able to. He's this dude. This dude is under the weather, not feeling bad, at all, not feeling good at all, guys. And this guy's taking the time to share in the chat, man. Let's give to Deep Mind Lab Engineer a major shout out. I appreciate you doing that, brother. Let's see. Did he? I, he says four, three. Okay. Let me make sure I get all of his comments. XRP Joe's in the building. What's going on, man? This is awesome, Siege. Knowing how to keep wealth is actually more important than knowing how to make it. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. Making it is often easy. It keep, it's keeping it where most have trouble. You've got a good heart. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that, man. Absolutely appreciate that. All right, let's see what Deep Mind has to say. Did he share uh, four a sample uncomfortable questions to ask estate planners? Uh, four sample uncomfortable questions to ask estate planners. Okay, have you or your firm ever been a defendant in litigation in the past five? years very important in fact yeah yeah you know what that's those are some good ones right there hold on a second yep 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 so sample uncomfortable question to ask your state planners have you or your firm ever been in a defendant in litigation in the past five years uh second one have you or your firm ever been fined wow okay uh, three, fee structure, flat fee or on, ongoing. Very important. What fiduciary, fiduciary concerns will you have in place for my account? These are deep questions, guys. Important questions, right? Because you know one of the <laughs> one of the most important lessons that you'll you will learn as you build your team that you are vetting your team just same way as they are vetting you. I mean, right, because in the end, it's your dollars that's paying for their services, right? So you, you, you're you vetting your team, and you, you, you can't be afraid to ask the tough questions. 
we just talking about this. We're talking about your generational wealth, right? So fee structure, flat fee or ongoing. What fiduciary cons controls will you have in place for my account? Very, very important. Any more from him? No, any more. Great points, uh, Deep Mind Lavish. And I thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Did you guys get those? Those are, those are bombshells right there. I hope you're paying attention. Living Proof 3 is in the building. How are you, my friend? Looks like you're new to the channel. Appreciate you being here, man. So far, so well, I appreciate you to hang out, man. This is, you know, this is a channel where we talk about digital assets. You know, our favorite is obviously XRP, but we do talk about other digital assets as well. But here we're talking about helping people level up their game and prepare for their generational wealth. And so what we have is something called Wealth Wednesdays. This is the first one. We just started as a generational wealth series. So welcome to the channel. I do do live streams twice a day. Generally, it's 3.30 and 8.30 or 9. Uh, but I wanted to do Wealth Wednesdays on 7 to perhaps kind of tap of the different markets there that I might have missed so that they can um so that they can tap into this as well. So I'm trying to capture a bigger market. So hopefully it will do that. And I have to make sure that when I put that notification out it did not say eight o'clock. That's not good. Uh but yeah man. And we also do uh videos. We do uh what I call driving videos. So I do early morning driving videos, hop in the car you know, and share with the, uh, share with the people on the channel, share some information on what's going on in the XRP community, share some stuff that's going on with digital assets as, as a whole as well. And I do two driving videos. So two driving videos and two streams. Just to let you know, brother, appreciate you being here. Rasheen be wealthy. Wealth and legacy. What's going on, bro? Appreciate you being here. Cultivation of the mastermind. See, much love. Back at you, my friend. I appreciate you being here, Rasheen. Appreciate you being here. So, guys, so that's part one of what I wanted to talk about. And that is, in everything that we do, we begin with the end in mind. With the end in mind. So, if we're talking about assets, and we're talking about how we're going to protect the assets, and we're talking about how we're going to um, prepare uh, the assets for distribution after we're gone, if you will, and, and preparing the, uh, uh, an estate and having an estate planning in action, my next thing is, what are you planning on doing? What are you planning on doing with your generational wealth? I would love to hear that. What are you planning on doing? Are, are, how many people are looking to diversify, diversify into real estate? How many people are going to just, you know, have a small uh, cash house? Let's say small cash house of less than 50000 now uh, 50000 and less. And just you're just going to put your digital assets on um, a platform like Hover or Celsius or Nexo. Uh, uh, I'm happy to say and uh, proud to say that I invested in um, the Celsius platform. Put some of my digital assets on that platform. So, guys, tell me in the chat, what are you planning on doing with your digital asset? What do you, when, when it moons, what are you planning on doing with that wealth? And it could be as simple as paying some bills off. Um, it could be as simple as um, starting a charity or foundation. It can be as simple as buying my mom a house, right? I would love to hear some of the things that you guys are planning on doing, right? And I hopefully, in addition to this, you're putting it down on paper, right? Because, again, what you think about, you bring about. Tell me about what are you planning on having, you know? Because I always tell people in, in our business, we always tell people, you know, it's you know, it's about changing the size of your think. It's about changing the size of your length, of your, of your think. In other words, you got to think bigger. Rasheen B. Wealthy says, I'm going to diversify into silver and gold. Frog in the well. I love it. I love it. Frog in the well says, I'm going to invest in real estate. Nova says, I would like to get into real estate. So when you say real estate, frog in the well and Nova, what type of real estate are you talking about, right? It's important to be specific about the things that you want. What type of real estate are you talking about? Are you talking about uh, a, a summer home and a winter home? Are you talking about rental properties? And if you're talking about rental properties, what kind of rental properties? Are you talking about single family homes? Are you talking about um, apartments? And for all my friends that are looking into the real estate, how many of you guys are familiar with um, Grant Cardone? When Mother says move to a warm climate, I hear that, my friend. I hear that. Have you thought about where that's going to be yet, when Mother? It's important to put that down. And, you know, Tatiana and I uh, are really, really big on. Uh, Ms. Crypto Siege and I are really, really big on um, 
uh, dream boards, right? We we love to take pictures. We uh, we 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 print stuff out. We we you know we get you know we have a um, something called a mind movie, right? So we get really really specific. You have to get really really specific about what you want. Cameron Singleton is in the building. How are you, Cameron? Welcome to the channel. Uh, that's R. That's real estate, right? The R E I T S. That's investing in a real estate um, platform, right? Get real estate investment something, right? Stocks, multifamily units, and duplex in CDs. That's what I like to see, Cameron. Very, very specific about where you want to go. Family units and duplexes. I got you. Glad to hear that. Glad to see you in the stream, my friend. Yeah, and I, uh, Giorgio's, uh, I cannot pronounce your last name. I'm going to call you Giorgio's T. I've, I've watched both of them. And for me, Greg Cardone, um, uh, I relate to him more, but Kevin obviously is a smart guy in real estate as well. Um, I, for me, I re either one of them are good. I relate a little bit more to Grant Cardone. Um, obviously, he's more like my age, and uh, uh, he's a big fan in the space that I'm in, I'm in as well, the, the, my, my primary income. He's a fan of that space, so I, I really like that from a business perspective. Nova says rental properties, apartments, probably around the college. Yep, smart. So rental properties, apartments, absolutely. How many units are you thinking about starting out with, my friend? Uh, Nova. Investment trust. So it's real estate investment trust. Yep, there it is. I know um, uh, uh, Robert Kiyosaki was really, really big into those at one time. And in 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 the other part of that too is right. Once you, you you're thinking about those different directions, how much education do you have? How much education do you have in those different ver those different um, areas? I like that, Cameron Singleton. Thank you. And real estate stocks like Simon, LTC Properties, and Realty Inc. I love it. I love it. I love it. Good stuff there, guys. Really good stuff. So what else? Anybody thinking about doing the Lambos? I, I'm, I'm surprised no one has said anything about cars. I'm excited about it, <laughs> to be honest with you. But I'm surprised no one said Lambo, no one said, uh, you know, uh, Ferraris. Got some smart people in here. I love it. Frog and well, buying a single family home for cheap, renovate and rent. Also, I will be looking for compound interest opportunities. Any thoughts on that? Well, compound, compound interest opportunities, yeah. You know, it's just, they're, they're, for me, one of the things that I'm going to look at, I don't know if it's compounded, but I, obviously, the, you know, whole life insurance policies where uh, they're not, Will you leverage the fact that you can use them to build your wealth versus using it as a life insurance policy? Definitely looking into those uh, without question. Want to look into those, right? And so there's obviously the other part of that is how much of your digital asset earnings are you going to put in a traditional financial instruments? And I'm not talking about real estate. I'm talking about um, things like the REITs and the, 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 the CDs. How much of it are you going to put in that? That's just something important we got to figure out as well, right? Because the digital assets, you know, those are always going to be, to me, they're always going to be your biggest gainers. You know, there's some stuff to kind of keep it safe, but in terms of biggest gains, in terms of biggest gains, you know, I would think they're going to be in the digital asset space. When Mullah says cars are an expense, not an investment, exactly. They are an expense. Nick Kenny says Porsche. What kind of Porsche? Nick Kenny, appreciate you being here. What kind of Porsche are you looking at? I'm a big fan of the Porsche, my friend. Love the Porsche. Now, for me, the entry level for me is going to be the Cayman S. I like the Cayman S. Uh, but, you know, that's going to be a good entry for me. And what I'm going to probably do is have two of those uh, whatever kind of cars they call them. Forget what kind of cars they call them. There's going to be two. It's going to be a Porsche. Uh, of some sort, and it's going to be a um, Ferrari of some sort. But that's it for me, you know, um, in terms of sports cars. Um, Miss Crypto Siege is, you know, she's, you know, she's going to, she's going to, she likes the luxury stuff. So we'll probably, you know, get the rolls right, They're either the Wraith or the Dawn, something like that. Uh, but that's going to be about it, though. That's going to be about it. Carmen Singler says, you must delay instant gratification without question, right? Without question. So I'm hoping 
that Rob is going to check in. I'm hoping that he didn't get that same message that Deep Mind got that said it was going to start at 8 because I told him 7 p.m. Eastern. So hopefully he may be tied up. Deep Mind says precious metals, commercial real estate through Kava, starting, a, starting up a couple tech startups, accreditors investing. Right, exactly. Because one of the things to, to kind of note is, you know, a lot of people are going to, you know, with this moon, whether it be this bull run or the subsequent bull runs, are going to be in a position where they now become accredited investors. And that's a whole nother world to live in. By the way, if you have not grabbed that book, um, Strangers in Paradise by Jason Grubman, I suggest you grab it. I suggest you grab it. Here's some of the books that I have been reading lately. Uh, the 501k plan and um, money, wealth, life insurance, right? Leveling up my um, financial asset or financial IQ. Very, very important. But guys, definitely grab, definitely grab, definitely grab Strangers in Paradise. Um, by J I believe it's Jason Grubman. You want to grab that? Deep Mind says, my copy will be here tomorrow. I love it, bro. You're going to enjoy that book, my friend. I can't wait for the three of us to hook up Deep Mind. It's going to be really, really good. Me, you, and Robert Westbury. I can't wait for that. It's going to be really, really good. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, XRP uh, Deep Mind Visionaire says, my renters will pay for my Lambo. Exactly. And that's the thing that I'm thinking as well. You know, that's the thing that I'm thinking as well, right? You know, one of the, you know, one of the best things to do is to have your assets spitting off the cash for you, right? All right so the greatest asset you have, obviously, at IMP, I believe, is the digital asset. You take that and you kind of, it's not that you're putting off getting the nicer stuff, but you, what you're doing is you're using things like real estate and things and other things that spit off cash to you monthly. You're using those. If you happen to have a network, you use a network, right? Something that spits off cash, residual income to you every single month. You use that. To get the stuff, you know, absolutely. Deep Mind's a real smart guy. Cameron Singleton, uh, Singleton says a 1990 Cutlass Priest. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Martin 958 is in the building at Crypto Seas. Get an Aston Martin. I looked at those Aston Martins. Looked at those. I like them. I really do like them. Uh, you know, I uh, I was just at uh, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, and a Rolls Royce place uh, the other day. Looked at a couple of those. Really, 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 really. And they, they had the other one in there. I forget the name of it. Um, this guess competing with the Ferrari. I forget it. Is it it's a Lotus? Might have been the Lotus. I forget it right now. I was so I was so enamored, um, uh, you know, at my entry levy stuff, right? So the Ferrari Portofino, you know, the Porsches, right? But uh, you know, looking at those, but they had, you know, the they had the Wraith in the in the in, in the uh, showroom. They had the Rolls Royce Dawn in the showroom. Um, so they had some really nice stuff there. All right, somebody says they're starting them. Oh, XRP Joe says we will be starting a music foundation for children in the world's most awesome foster home. Foster home. I love it, brother. I hope you got that on a vision board, man. I hope you. I hope you looked at. Um, some, you know, foster homes and starting music foundations. I hope you looked at it on YouTube. I hope you Googled it. I hope you got a dream board. I hope you got pictures of it. I hope you can, I hope you take time and spend some time looking at it, uh, visualizing it, seeing it for you and your family, brother. I love that. I love that. You know, for me, I want, you know, I, one of my biggest dreams is to start a, uh, a foundation for inner city youth in baseball. That's one of my driving, driving forces, right? That's the thing, that's the thing, that's the thing that helps me get up in the morning. Gaming Crypto XRP is in the building. How you doing, my friend? I appreciate you being here. I would like the C8. Nice value. The C. I don't. I don't. I don't know. From I'm not familiar with the C8. What is that, my friend? When Mother says, hopefully, Kava Labs is up and running by then. Kava Labs will be up and running. Yep. Oh, absolutely no, and that's and that's okay. Everybody's got to start somewhere. Kava, Kava Nova says, I have little to no. Little to no knowledge, to be fair, but I'm taking the time to learn over the year. Exactly. That's what it's about. That's exactly what it's about, Nova. Josh A says, no, zero, nada. Appreciating assets for me. I hear you, bro. I hear you. 
It's an interesting thing about these, some of these luxury cars. In fact, there's, there's a crypto asset project out there that um, um, it, it allows you to get access to these luxury cars. You own you like part ownership of it. I, I looked into it a long time ago. I think that project is still around, but I don't even know the name of it. But luxury, the right luxury stuff actually go up can go up in value if you have the right ones. See, if you flip cars, you can make a lot of money for a side game. How about that, Eagle Eye 77? If you flip cars, you can make a, you said a lot of money, bro? So you can make a lot of money for a side game. I hear that. Rashawn B. Wealthy says, I agree. Nick Kenny, 911. Razor, Razor P. XRP says, put my son through coding school. Then try to build a program on the uh, ledger, which teaches inner city youth about crypto. What? What? I love that right there because I am. I was thinking about this this morning. About uh, I was I was watching Kevin Hart. Yeah. So we decided that uh, we were going to bring in the new year, laughing and smiling. You know, gut wrenching, laughing and smiling. That's how we we're going to bring in the new year. So at the stroke of midnight, we put some Kevin Hart on, and we just for hours we were just laughing, 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 laughing laughing and uh, we watched a couple of his things but one of the things he's got uh, going on is something called i think it's called don't f this up and uh it was really inspirational for me uh but one of the things uh, so it really got me thinking about how can i take this message um to the inner city youth you know so i love that i love that razor pxrp all right oh i missed a super chat who is this Glass farting castle, my friend. How are you, bro? I haven't seen you in a while. Glad to see you here, man. <laughs> Thanks for the ten dollars. Uh, I believe that's Aussie dollars, is it not? I appreciate that, brother. Uh, it says ten dollars for your Ferraris gas tank. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. I appreciate your contrib contributing to the channel, my friend. Glad to see you here, man. Raise a PXOP. I love it, man. Uh, that's a smart, a smart. You, you, you got a smart son, huh? Ha uh, ha. Uh. Get him into coding? I hear you, bro. XRP Joe says, and a clothing label. Absolutely, man. I love that entrepreneurial spirit, my friend. Josh A says, I'm going to live well below my means and create generational wealth. I got you. I got you. Absolutely. I got you. And here's the thing. And so, and I mean, it's too, it's, there's different takes on that as well, right? You know, uh, you know, obviously it's the, you know, it's the Dave Ramsey approach and there's a Robert Kiyosaki and a Grant Cardone approach, you know, depending on, upon how much time you have, how young you are, uh, you know, but it's still in the end, it's about generational wealth without question. XP Joe says, I will be driving a Tesla or a Tesla will be driving me. Ha <laughs> ha, laugh out loud. I hear you. They're going to have to get a little fancier for me in terms of aesthetics. I don't, I'm not. You know, <clears throat> in terms of the sports cars, I want more of a sportier thing. But boy, they some smart. Um, those Teslas are some smart cars. I know that. Rashin B. Wealthy says, love to get with you guys and build on a new innovative, innovative idea with the earnings. I, I collaborate, right? Absolutely. I know my friend is just, she's talking about, you know, setting something up in terms of real estate, getting six, you know, each of us kind of donate six figures and, Start to get into that property acquiring. Living Proof 3 says, own real estate in poor community areas along with helping those people by teaching them strategies on how to gain wealth and keep it. Start an accelerator program for people with ideas and no tracks. Absolutely love that. Accelerator programs are awesome. Uh, I used to follow a guy on, on, on uh, Instagram and YouTube. Uh, yeah, I forget his name from New Jersey. From the Jersey area. I forget his name now. Hmm. But he did that. He did that as well. Same type of thing. Inner, inner city, the inner city type community, support community, started accelerator from the people that got that entrepreneur spirit and mindset and want to learn entrepreneurship. He did that as well. Get the name now. Forget his name. It has something to do with uh, might have been millionaire mentor. It might have been that that guy, millionaire mentor on Instagram, YouTube. That is it, millionaire mentor, sharp guy. Eagle Eye seventy seven. Uh oh, it's jumping. Sorry. Oh, there he is. Yep. YouTube said this started stream at 6 p.m. my time. Ah, uh, nope. 
No, we've been going for a while, man. I got to check and see what's going on with YouTube. No, no. All right, can you call in now, Robert? It's not too late, my friend. Robert is in the building. Robert is in the building. Robert's the one who turned me on, turned his channel on to Strangers in Paradise. Shout out to Sonny. I said Robert. Sonny Parmar is in the stream. He's the one who turned me on to um, Strangers in Paradise. Turned his channel on, stream on Strangers in Paradise. Yeah, I saw, I've been watching him. Yeah, I, I watched him the other day. I watched him the other day unbox um, uh, what is, uh, the Bugattis. I think the latest and newest Bugatti. Can you call in now? Okay, he's calling. Robert Westbury is going to call in, guys. Hey, brother, how are you? It's going good. Hey, let me hold, hold on. Let me let me put you on Bluetooth, man, and uh, we're going to chat for a bit. Guys, Robert Westbrook is calling in. OMG, this dude, is, I'm telling you, smart. Robert, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you great, brother. I can hear you great. Let me make sure that people in the chat can hear you fine. Hey, guys, can you let me know in the chat if you guys can hear Robert Westbrook from the channel checking in? Can you guys hear him? Okay, please let me know. Let's make sure that How's they can. Going? Let's make sure. All right. Hey, C, thanks for starting. IP, the. Hey, guys, can you let me know in the chat if you can hear Robert okay? Can you guys hear him good? I think they can. I'm getting some, yep, getting some thumbs up. All right, brother. Man, listen, I appreciate you calling in, Robert. I appreciate you taking the time to do this, man. Do me a favor, guy. Do me a favor, brother, and tell, you know, what you can. Tell the people here a little, a little bit about yourself and how you got involved in the digital asset space. Yeah, sure thing. So, uh, first of all, you know, really appreciate your, your stream here, uh, Crypto Siege. Um, something about your drives, man, that would, that's what really got me clued into, you know, this guy's different. And, and that a heart of gold, you're out there to help people, it comes through in your videos. And I'm just so glad that I found you when I did, because Thanks. it just, it really, it's, it's, it's a different approach. And that's why I think everybody likes you so much. You have a different approach from everybody else in the community. So thank you, keep brother. it up. You're thank you, man. Job. I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that. But I, uh, I have a banking background. I've worked for you know, uh, Bank of America. Uh, I've worked actually American Express. Not many people know, but American Express had a banking uh, had banking branches overseas with the military. Mm. And uh, I was overseas. My brother was Air Force. Got a job with American Express Bank way back in the day, and that's how I started my banking uh, career. Gotcha. But I've worked for Washington Mutual, Chase, Bank of America. Uh, I've worked for uh, credit unions. So uh, I, banking has always just been something that I have, you know, just gravitated towards. However, with that said, yeah. I never really liked banking. Uh -huh. uh, it's just one of the things that it drew me in. It got me, you know, it gave me a career. But um, really, I've always wanted to get out of banking. Right. And it's because of, like like everybody says, it's banking. You know, banking, the industry itself is, is sort of parasitic in a way. Right, right. Uh, or at least we've let it let it become that way mm -hmm. in America and the world, you know, with the central banks and whatnot. So um, I still work for banks, uh, financial institutions, mortgage companies, but I now do uh, more uh, technology implementations as a project manager. Oh, gotcha. So, gotcha. Uh, so over, the, over the time, you know, I've, I've uh, sort of moved toward more technology implementations, things of that nature. Gotcha. Um, and as far as, you know, getting involved with XRP and, and cryptocurrency, um, probably about February of this year, okay. or actually last year, 2019, um, I started to, you know, do some research into Bitcoin, uh, into cryptocurrencies. And, you know, within a week, uh, you know, I'm, I'm researching XRP. Right. <laughs> and I'm th thinking to myself, I'm thinking, why is this not more expensive than it is? Mm. Uh, this should... You know, this should be, you know, two, three thousand dollars right now. Why is this, you know, at the time I was like 
30 something, 30 something cents when I saw it. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking some up here, because I know how bankers are. Bankers will sit on things, try things forever until they are ready to. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, quote unquote, a banker's point. So I'm thinking there's more here than meets the eye. So as I started to do more due diligence, dig in more. Like Christine Lagarde or, or anybody that you know, that was really a big powder of XRP would really say it in public, mm-hmm. and that was that was really what clued me in. It's like, okay, this is their ace up their sleeve, <laughs> and they're not going to show their hand until they're ready. Until they're ready, absolutely, and that's a very very important part, guys. And the reason why I wanted Robert to come on and kind of share Robert and uh, Deep Mind is because of their background and their intelligence. Number one, right? So Robert's background is from the banking community. So and, and he's been doing it for a while now, for years now, right? And so he he has a, a different viewpoint. It's almost like an insider's viewpoint from the banking perspective and how they act and how they talk and how they walk and the different and the different things that they do. And notice how he said. From his perspective and doing his homework about XRP, he immediately said, you know, this thing, why is this thing not valued in the thousands of dollars? Right. I mean, you got to appreciate that from his perspective, and from his background. He immediately knew, like, why is this, this thing valued more? I mean, because you can you can clearly see between the partnerships and the youth case and the challenge that it's looking to solve that it should be worth tons and tons and tons of money, right? So that that perspective is awesome. And I definitely appreciate you saying that, brother. But, I want, you know, I talked with you a little bit earlier today offline, and we talked about that we're going to be doing these Wealth Wednesdays, and I would a generational series. And I would love for you to share with the community, you know, some things that, you, you know, they, they should consider, you know, as we go forward, not only, not only today, but each week with Wealth Wednesdays. Oh, sure thing. So first of all, I'll preface it by saying I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> yep, yep. And this is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> but with that said, uh, you know, everyone, you know, everyone's looking at real estate, and of course you should. But I think there's a couple things that, as people in this community, uh, should realize mm-hmm. before you look at real estate, look at what brought you to this point, and that's XRP. Mm-hmm. We now we we're seeing more and more coming out about how XRP is going to be in just about everything. Mm-hmm. So use that knowledge. And for me and you know my family, I'm investing even more in XRP. Mm-hmm. You know, if it hits a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars, uh, I do believe XRP is going to hit you know four figures right. you know, sometime in the next couple of years mm-hmm. easily. Um, and would I trade a hundred bucks for a four figure return? You know, I would. <laughs> so, so it's one of those things where don't forget what brought you here. And that's that's XRP. Mm-hmm. But tied to that is cryptocurrency as well. Yep. So we know that there's going to be a handful that are going to make it through the next probably three to five years that are going to come out winners in this nascent uh, environment. Yep. And buying now when it's sub, sub one cent mm-hmm. could really be, you know, a, a really good move in two to three, five years, mm-hmm. depending on how long those other coins or projects take to move. Sure. Absolutely. I love it. I absolutely love it. And yeah, when we started, uh, we started the channel with us, you know, uh, the channel, we started Wealth Wednesday with estate planning. Uh, obviously, it's not about necessarily getting the wealth, but keeping the wealth and preparing for right when we're no, when we're no longer here. We want to take care of the issues while we're here. So we want to do the proper estate planning. And Deep Mind was in the channel. He's, he's under the weather big time. So I appreciate him even being in the channel. And he was dropping some golden, golden nuggets about how you prepare and how you prepare in terms of even looking for an estate planner. Finding right, it's always about vetting your team. It's, first of all, it's about acquiring a team, but then you have to look at, you know, you got you got to vet your team, and you got to have the courage to ask the right questions of your team, uh, so that you can you know protect yourself as well, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You definitely you're going to need team, and if, if this community is investing in the XRP as I'm investing, 
uh, you know, there's going to be some very well-off people you know, in this community in 2020, uh, I'm thinking. So now is the time to start investigating, to look at those uh, those team members that you're talking about and start to vet them out and, you know, get them, you know, let them know uh, what you're looking at. And if they are, if they're worth their salt, you know, because granted, we, we haven't moved yet. We don't have our money. We haven't fucked out our tax or fiat yet. Yeah. I wouldn't say, you know, at this point, you know, depending on what you're talking to. You, you want to be careful as far as how much you reveal mm -hmm. as far as your holdings. Mm -hmm. You know, but if they're worth their salt and you tell them you have, you know, approximately, you know, in this ballpark, this much XRP, and if, if they say, okay, we should talk because definitely they see the future of XRP and cryptocurrency, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. If they know what you have right now, that is good. If they say... XRP, what, 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 what's XRP? <laughs> well, it's like, thank you very much for your time. We'll talk, you know, I hope, you know, best, best in 2020 for you. Yeah. yeah. So it, you definitely need to go with people of like mind and what you're thinking and what you have discovered in this, uh, in this community. Uh, that's a great, that's a, absolutely a great point, guys. And that is exactly, <laughs> that is exactly what Deep Mind said as well, brother, which is exactly why I'm so excited to be able to collaborate with you and with Deep Mind and helping us all to kind of level up our, our, our IQ and protecting our assets. Because that's, the, that's the, the first thing he said is to make sure your estate planner <laughs> is familiar with digital assets, right? Because if they're not, you, you, you might want to look, you know, some kind of place elsewhere, right? Because you, you're going to want to Find some people that are at least familiar with it enough to, to understand that, wow, okay, so you own approximately this much? Okay, yeah, we, we you need to start preparing, you know, for the long term. And 1,000%, I can't agree with you even, you know, more, that it's so important to, you got to surround yourself with people who, who, who kind of get what it is that you're doing and where it is that you're wanting to go. And if they're not familiar with, uh, you know, XRP and AC, you know, <laughs> they call you back later and see it's, a, you know, at 19 cents and they don't they don't quite get it, then it's not going to work for you. Right. That that relationship won't okay. work for you. You know, you got to you're going to have to move on. So Leo Brazil Crypto said, uh, sorry, who's who are you talking to on the phone? This is Robert Westberg, Leo Brazil Crypto from um, the channel. He and I've had a chance to talk now a few times and uh, his background. Uh, really, really intrigued me. And I thought, you know, we got to get this guy to come onto the channel and share with the other one his knowledge and, ex and his experience from his perspective. We have some we have some interesting talks. I won't share with that on the channel, but we have some interesting talks about, you know, what we see in this digital asset XRP and where it can go. And, and obviously we've talked about the general things like why isn't nobody talking about XRP and that different and that kind of stuff? Why, why doesn't anyone mention it? But I wanted to, uh, you know, I wanted to have him come on the channel. So that's who that is, Leo. It's Robert Westberg from the channel, my friend, from the channel. So, but yeah, and so, all right, brother, well, listen, uh, any closing thoughts? So let me ask you this. Um, do, what is, uh, we're in 2020 now. What do you feel like? What is your optimism, if you have that, for 2020? What do you, what do you see 2020 is going to be uh, for XRP in the digital asset space? I, I had a couple couple thoughts there, but basically, I do think that come uh, end of first quarter, sometimes second quarter, I think at the latest, okay. is when you're going to see big big movements in XRP. We might see some speculation and some rise in price based on speculation, yep. but I think at Swell, when David Schwartz said that a low price won't work in that interview that he had with Mr. B or that conversation mm -hmm. with Mr. B, yep. that was telling. That was very telling. Absolutely. That they won't let it go slow, in my <laughs> estimation. I hear you, brother. That once it's, it, may, it may tick up, it may tick, tick up to a dollar, maybe two. But I don't think it's going to go over all time high right now. Right. I think that it's going to cap out around three, mm -hmm. and they it might then force it down. Right. And it might be a quick rise, so that people will think, okay, it's going, it's going, you know, bye, 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 and then they'll pull the rug out and let it drop, yeah. and then wow. people will sell, 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 yeah. and then it'll move. That's I could definitely see something like that happening uh, because the point you know this is not meant for for you know for the layman this coin is meant for the bankers and granted we are less than you know probably point zero 
one percent of the pop zero zero one percent of the population that even mm-hmm. owns XRP. Yeah. But fewer people that that have it and hold it because the majority of us are going to hold it, yeah. the better for them. Mm-hmm. And so just be be aware that it could spike up you know close to all time highs and then drop back down maybe to all time lows. You know, well, as far as all time lows, you know, as far as we're at right now, from twenty fifteen cents or so. Uh-huh. Just to shake out the last people that don't have some. Uh-huh. So I would say be ready to hold. Uh, don't sell too early. I would, you know, I myself am going to hold out a little bit longer before I, you know, cash out my first small bag. But um, I think that end of first quarter, sometimes second quarter, I think we're going to see some some very good price movement. I love it. I love it, brother. All right, my friend, I love, I love, again, I want to thank you for taking the time out to, to come on and call in and share with the channel, bro, your, your, your absolute value, 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 value member of this channel. And I appreciate, I love the talks that we get to have offline. Appreciate you calling in, my friend, and uh, we'll talk offline again soon. All right, keep it up. All right, brother, take care, man. All right, guys, so listen, Robert Westberg, right? I wanted you guys to be able to listen to this guy, right? And get that different from his his background in banking. I'm telling you, it's very, very intriguing. He knows how they walk. He knows how they talk. He knows how they think. He's been in that space for a long time, for a long time. And I can tell you, he's got some very, very good insight on what's most likely going to be uh, was going to happen with XRP. I'll let him share that uh, of, the, of some of the possibilities. But I'm very, very excited about it. So I hope you and guys enjoy him sharing with the channel. He's an awesome dude. And uh, I'm looking forward to talking more with DeepMind as well. It's going to be, it's, we're going to bring these guys to you uh, uh, at least every Wednesday, if not more so than that, to share with the channel. Let me get some of the stuff going on here. Thanks for the calling in, bro. Much appreciated. So Robert, uh, DeepMind says, thanks for calling in, bro. Most appreciated. Thank you for your value words, Rob. Cheers, mate, says Glasses Barting Castle. <laughs> uh, love it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Robert says, thank you all. So guys, I'm telling you, listen, we're going to wrap this stream up. I want to make sure I catch some of the people that came in. I hope this was valuable to you today. Uh, hopefully you guys, let me see if I still got that link. There's the link guys to the basics for estate planning. Okay. Make sure you guys get that start now. Don't think that it's, you don't have enough stuff. That's not true. In the end, this is about Getting yourself into wealth consciousness, developing, increasing, improving upon your wealth mindset. And so don't let the enemy, as I like to say it, um, talk you out of preparing now. Don't let the enemy think that you're not worthy now. Don't let the enemy think that don't let the enemy let you think that you're not deserving now, that you're not worthy now. Don't listen to that voice. Listen to the voice that says that you are deserving, that you are worthy, that you should, in fact, be looking into estate planning because you are going to have this generational wealth. OK, Pay, listen to that voice. All right, guys, listen, I'm going to wrap this video up like I do all videos. I got my uh, better half and my daughter screaming for me to come help them put a puzzle together. Can you believe it? But um, in any case, guys, so two things I want to remind you of. Number one, if you haven't had a chance yet, go grab that book, please. Strangers in Paradise. We're definitely going to be going over that book as well. The awesome Sonny Parmar that's in the channel recommended the book. I went and got it, began reading that thing, and I just couldn't say enough great things about it. It's by uh, Jason Grubman, I believe, is his name. Sonny Parmar recommended it. He's an awesome dude. Shout out to Sonny. He said, Strangers in Paradise, Jason Grubman. You definitely want to go check that out without question. You want to get that book, guys want to get that book because oh by the way i was supposed to ask this so i'm going to ask it now is there anybody in the channel that already has the book anyone in the channel already have strangers in paradise um by jason uh by jason grubman anyone have it yet i'm going to read some of these uh, things here just started to st- just started the stream over now staff sergeant marines all right brother bc majors in the building what's up i'm going to read some of these things anybody have it yet Crypto Seeds, I can't say enough. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're welcome, Leo. You're absolutely welcome. I appreciate you being here, brother. Cheers, Glass and Will. Coming tomorrow. Anyone have it yet before I'm going to do my outro? Anybody have it? I want to make sure I give a shout out. I know it was one person that had it like three streams ago. They said they had it already. Anybody? Nope. All right, guys. Listen, ordered it. Morris Prince C7 said I ordered it. All right, guys. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap this stream up. 
like I do all of my videos and remind you of this, guys. Listen, never, ever forget that old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in, but we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating? Or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know. That the battle for you has already been fought. And the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Bye.